Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 11, Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20 Dallas Cowboys. So just a couple of notes, I just flipped the season, so uh, we're picking at number 20 this year, Saints with the number one pick. Uh, there's your coaching carousel if you want to read through that. Uh, the only one of note for us is our offensive coordinator is possibly on the coaching carousel for a job. Uh, we'll see. Uh, he's not picked among the uh, experts. And contract updates, if you want to take a look at that, you can pause it. And let's see, Patrick Zhang, where's he at? I don't know, where was Patrick Zhang? Juan Byrne. There he is. All right, so right there. And then Terrell Hanks. All right. Uh, let's see, some news notes. Julian Edelman has retired. Mike Tolbert, Britton Colquitt. Uh, Rhett Ellison, Drew Stanton retires, former Michigan State quarterback, I believe. Kurt Nick Novak, 15 years. Jason Peters, Jamal Charles, the ex LSU back, I believe he was at LSU. Played for the uh, Chiefs for a long while. Trent Williams, Darrell Freeman, Sam Bradford, the last quarterback before the to sign before the NFLPA restructuring of the uh, collective bargaining agreement. He got, what, $50 million before he stepped foot on a field, guaranteed money. Casey Hayward. Antonio Brown retired. Well, sort of. Uh, have you guys seen the crap? I don't know what your personal feelings are about AB. Uh, I think he's very talented, but I think he's a nutcase. Um, so yeah, so now, so he was the first person kicked off the masked singer last year and then all the crap with Pittsburgh and then Oakland and then New England and then the tweets threatening people that he sexually assaulted allegedly. And now he's tweeting at players in the NFL bashing different players for any, for all the way down to how dare you call me AB, you're not my teammate. I was like, okay. Dude's got a few screws loose, in my opinion. Uh, Doug Martin, Charles Johnson, Orleans Darkwa, J.J. Watt retired. I, not a Houston fan, but I do like J.J. Watt. Maurice Pouncey. A couple of Steelers there on the offensive line. Any big names? Oh, Larry Fitzgerald finally hung it up. Thomas Morstead, the Saints punter. 12 seasons. All right, nobody for us. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm going to go after any staff people this year. Now, Mark Counts could get a job elsewhere. Um, he's got two years left. Two years left. All right. Well, we're going to... All right. So it doesn't look like... Colts, Bills, Jets. All right, well, he's still with us, so that's good. A lot of new staff. A lot of new staff, wow. Uh, staff signing week two. Still not signed, still didn't leave, so that's good. Um, all right, let's see. Off-season team needs. So the Cowboys, we need a guard and a center, according to the experts. I'll pull out my little handy notebook here. Can't write on that page. That's where I'm doing my map for uh, missed survival. So center and guard. 
Oh, uh, real quick, let me pull this up. Um, notes, emails. Uh, Darnell Riley, welcome to the channel. Uh, he joined yesterday. And Guillermo Torres joined two days ago. Jeffrey Stewart, three days ago. And Woot78, six days ago. Welcome to the channel, you guys. Army Dave, thanks for the shout out. You're welcome. Joshua Sanders, uh, about a week ago. Uh, yes, Joshua had a comment about, uh, about the compensatory draft. Uh, good deal. Burn Roddy, about a week ago. And somebody had made a comment. Oh, Army Dave, uh, instead of cutting all those defensive ends, you can add some to your practice squad. I believe I did. Could be wrong. But remember last season we had like, I don't know, it was like 13 defensive ends. You're only allowed eight people on your practice squad. So, you know, I didn't want all defensive ends there. So you're going to have to cut some of them. Uh, let's see. So we didn't do anything here. Says we need to work on our offensive line. All right. So let's go to, let's see, click the double arrows to open free agency. All right, here we go. So do, 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 do. open bidding. Von Miller's up there. Let's see if there's anybody really high that's really young. Ooh, Malcolm Brown, defensive tackle out of Texas. He looks pretty good. 28 year old running back. 25. So, oh my God. Hello. Saquon Barkley's a free agent. The Giants let him go to free agency. Would you really spend a number two overall pick and then let him walk after his rookie contract? How has he done? Where's his uh, statses? Uh, so, career. Career, 28 games. All right, there we go. Receiving. All right, so 28 games, 1,900 yards, 15 touchdowns. Just came off a pretty big season touchdown-wise. I don't particularly need a running back because I have Ezekiel and then our backup, was it Pollard? Uh, he had a pretty good year, so I don't really need a running back, but still, it's just interesting to see him there. Uh, now, there's a possibility. Brian Allen. Hmm. Brian Allen. He would want between 3-3 three, three and 3-9, three, potentially. Don't know that I. We've got 18 million. I need a fullback. Guards, I've got plus one. Centers, I'm right on, so I could use some competition there, possibly. I think I'm going to draft a quarterback this year. Not. You know, not to replace Dak per se, but we talked about this early on, and I had heard when I started this uh, series, there was some talk about the Rams and that they thought the Rams might be the team, you know, with the forethought to not, you know, to try to play with a very cheap quarterback every year like forever and not re-sign because you can see up here Dak Prescott now he's making five and a half million well if you were making five hundred thousand that's five million you could put onto another player and we could you know use that extra cap room to put better players around him maybe like a Brian Allen but uh, you know that's just 
but I still think it's prudent following the New England philosophy that you basically draft a quarterback every other year. And, you know, either they slide into your top three guys or they, uh, you know, they drop out. And if you waste a third, fourth, fifth round pick on one, is it that big of a deal since the number of those players that make a roster anyway are so low in real life? I don't know how that would work in a game. So we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. But I'm thinking about drafting a quarterback this year. Uh, mid-rounds, mid-rounds, not, not high because we're obviously okay with Dak, uh, even though we didn't make the playoffs last year. Uh, let's see, but yeah, I don't, I don't think I want, I don't think I really want, there's another young running back, who's that, Tariq Cohen, don't know him, uh, Jamie Wiley out of South Carolina. Who's that, Jamal Williams? Antonio Gates, 41. Look at the look at the young running backs on the free agent market. Holy shit. Christian Wilkins. Josh Allen, the Buffalo quarterback. He was let go to free agency. Wow. How's he done the last two years? Because remember, their stats are only going to go back two years. So, yeah, 57, 56, yeah. Yeah, if you're not hitting 60 in the league, I don't think you're going to stick around. He's shown a lot of promise, but... Oh, you know what? I do need a... I do need a fullback. So, we could go after Derek Coleman. What's he want? Two to two point four. I don't want to pay that much. Tommy Bohannon. How about this guy? I like that price, especially since I don't like fullbacks very much. In the college game, I don't sign fullbacks. All right, let's see. Good strength. Run blocking is okay. I mean, it's positive. Pass blocking, meh. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe Bohannon. Yeah, see, he's not any better. He's actually worse at run blocking, so I'm not liking that. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's sort by that. So Trinidad actually is the best run blocker. And he's only asking five to six. Let's offer him a deal. Uh, fullback. Uh, let's put him in for rotation. Um... Let's go with 650, balanced over three years, submit the offer, and is there a center that I would want? Uh, let's look at run blocking. Ryan Khalil. Ryan Allen, three one to four six, seventy one fifty four. Don't like that. So how about Mac is thirty six. Not interested. I would just assume sign a sign a center in the draft to compete with Frederick. Seventy one sixty. Or Harrison. Yeah. I think that's all we're going to do there, guys. All right. Uh, let's see. 
Who down there? Who is that? Hey, Bo. All right, so let's finish this round. Uh, oh, let's finish current day. All right, the Raiders, the Saints, Vikings, Packers. Uh, free agent report. Who did we, uh, was it, it was a fullback we bid on, <laughs> fullback, oh there he is, Trinidad Cowboys, yeah, we're the only bid on him, alright, so we're gonna finish this day, Alright, nothing there. Let's check the free agent report. Again, full back. Still the only team looking at him. Alex Max Center. All right, free agent report. Full back, only the Cowboys. Good. Uh, did he sign today? I don't see him on the list. Oh, there he is, Caleb Trinidad. We got our guy. All right, so I'm going to finish uh, all the days. All right. So there is all that scouting period. All right. I want to go look up some information on scouting. See if there's a better way to do it. Suggestions and whatnot. All right, we're back. Uh, so I've posted up a question about scouting. Uh, I have done about 30 minutes of looking, and I really haven't found anything on how to do this the right way. So what we're going to do here, uh, we just got four emails, one from each member of the coaching staff, the head coach, the offense coordinator, the defense co coordinator, and then myself. Um, I don't know why I sent the email to myself, but it's good that I was thinking that way. Maybe it's like Bill and Ted. They're in the future sending it back to me. So the first guy is uh, our head coach, David Brooks. He sent me an email with three guys to keep an eye on. So let's go ahead and first guy is a wide receiver. And going to sort by name and his name is Bernard Kuhn so they're projecting him to go undrafted so let's go ahead and scout and interview him the next guy is a free safety Robert Hayes right there projected to go undrafted and the last guy is a strong safety Jonathan Fraley. It's round one to two. All right. So I'm going to delete that picture. I just took pictures of these on my phone. That's why I'm looking down. All right. The next guy came from our offensive coordinator, Mark Counts, and Robert or Charles Roberge out of NC State late round pick so we'll scout him that was his only suggestion the next guy is our defensive coordinator so naturally he's looking at defensive players so Harold Hansen and Timothy Himes Oh, Himes is a defensive end. That would help. There he is, round three. 
So you can kind of see that their suggestions are kind of all over the board. So that's interesting. So maybe something to pay attention to. I did not look at those real hard last time. And then I, in my infinite wisdom, had a couple of punters. I don't know why. If I could go for it every fourth down, I would probably do that. <laughs> Blaine Via. All right, undrafted punter. So we'll punt and scout, or uh, scout and interview. And then Brian Cardenas, another undrafted punter potentially. And then uh, Bernard Coons, I believe we already scouted him, did we not? Wide receiver. Yep, so I like him too. And then we had a free safety. Ronnie Slade. Now what I'm noticing, and again, that this I you know I didn't pay attention to these last season. All of these players, with a few exceptions, are undrafted, projected to go undrafted. So that may be the place to spend your scouting. Again, I've asked the question. When I get feedback, I of course will share that with you guys. Um, and then what I'm going to do with these last is I'm just going to auto assign points. Uh, and I don't know why it didn't take them all. Oh, you know what? Let's go to all auto assign. Hello. Auto assign. Hello. Clicky clicky. All right. View targets. Okay, so there's a couple of new people in there. I'm not going to spend the points if the game doesn't want to spend it. I'll have to figure that out, but let's go ahead and so it says make sure your team has their scouting and that's where you come down here to scout next draft under team management. You do this and then you click the double arrows. Yes, I am. All right, so that we're at the draft. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's see how our draft goes this year. So, either a quarterback or a tight end, number one overall. I'm thinking if you draft a tight end, number one overall, you're probably going to get fired. It's just my thought. All right, so New Orleans is up. All right, we're going to pick until human. All right, so let's go to the draft recap. So they took Tim Jones, linebacker. Kerry Snow, the quarterback, went to the Chiefs. Don't the Chiefs already have a really good quarterback? Hmm? Hmm? And there's only been one quarterback taken. Philip Patton is supposed to be there at pick two. Wow. Uh, let's see. We have 428. So let's go to the war room. Uh, actually, close view. No, it should be there, should it not? Oh, here we go. The coach suggests is Chester Cottrell, a guard. Raymond Flores, a center. We do need a center, yes. He's projected to go in round one. So if we sort that way, they do have a really, well, supposedly a good quarterback. Raymond Flores is the suggestion. Chester Cottrell. We do need linemen. And I don't need a first-round quarterback this year. So let's take a look at Raymond Flores. Stronger offensive linemen. This guy is pretty good. Out of Clemson. All right, we will draft that player then. Raymond Flores. You draft. Okay. Boom. All right, and how do I get out of that? 
close view. There we go. All right, pick until human again. All right, let's look at the draft recap. So after we took Flores, Patton, number two overall, goes to the Redskins. What a bargain. 680. There's Chester Cottrell. So he went not too long after us. I'm looking to see if any of the other quarterbacks have gone. Doesn't look like it. All right, so let's go to uh, view players. Everybody is suggesting Earl Kang. John Field from UAB, Earl Kang. Now, he's 23. There is a John Scott from Washington that's 20. Let's take a look at him. B, B plus, a D in technique. So he's young. He's going to probably take a little while, just my thought. Whereas Kang, well, his technique is not... Pretty good blocking. Hmm. But we do need a guard, so we want somebody that can challenge for a starting job. 328, 63, 328. Ah. Hmm. B, B plus D. D. C plus C minus. So he's got a better IQ, better intangibles. 15, 17, 17. Now he has better grades overall. Already a good run blocker in the run game. Impress scouts with his strength. High ceiling. I'm going to take him. I'm going to take the younger guy. I think he might have more upside. John Scott, Washington. Welcome to the Cowboys. All right. Back to the players. All right. A punter and a tackle. Don Searcy, a round 2-3 player. Another guard. We already drafted a guard. I certainly don't mind another guard, but has the strength to throw defenders. So BCD. BB. BC. 14-15-15. Kind of like this guy a little bit better. Six foot four. I like I like more height. I'm gonna draft this guy. Kind of taking the coach's suggestion, but you know that's that's all right. Uh, pick until human. Oh, we got another pick. How did we get another pick? I don't remember. We had a trade. Did we get a trade or a supplemental move? Awesome. Well, you know what? Then hell, we'll draft both of those guys. <laughs> um, you know what? This could be. Could this be the spot we, we take a pick? Now, it says late rounds for him, so I don't want to do that. Let's sort by round. Okay, I don't see a quarterback right up here on the board. All right. So, San Luis Obispo. Do I want another tackle at this point? I don't know. Not very athletic. I do like athleticism. Strength. 
IQ, like Smart IQ. I think a lot of this could be coached up. He is 24, big physique. So we've got we've got two young linebackers. I don't know if we'll be able to keep them both. Hmm. Jose Harris. Kind of like his numbers better. Let's go ahead and draft him. All right. Fourth round. Leon is getting larger. <laughs> um, Jeffrey Kidd. Everybody likes Jeffrey Kidd. Do we like Jeffrey Kidd? Do we need another tackle? Fundamentally, don't make stupid mistakes. Okay. Technique, I like technique. Oregon State, 6'2". That's a pretty good size corner. Let's draft that kid. I like him. Morris Chung, Oregon State. All right. Uh, da -da -da. Keith Sharp out of Michigan State. Good physique, good athleticism, technique, football IQ, intangibles. Do I need a kicker? Really? Do I need a kicker? I don't think I need a kicker, do I? I got one punter, he's 32, and I got a kicker who's 32. He's not making a lot of money. Huh. Uh, Michigan State. About him. Physique, athleticism, IQ, intangibles. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. 6 1, a little short for the prototypical. There's no way I'm drafting that kid. <laughs> Henry Ramsey, no way. I just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Late rounds, undrafted. I think he might be there. When we when we come back, he might be there when we come back. John Rodriguez. Not much in the way of intangibles. Smart, good technique. Yeah, let's draft him. Do that. All right, we're in the sixth round. I really wanted to draft a quarterback before here, but I think this is where we have to do it. Elkins or Witt? Well, you know what? It still says late rounds for him. Hmm. Ooh, physique. That's not good. I 
All right, he doesn't have really great technique, but he's at least average in everything else. Notre Dame. Not good in tangibles. Good IQ, good technique, good physique. You know what? Where are we at on tight end? Roster. I've got three. They're all young. All right, so we're not hurting for tight end. Oliphant is my only real good one, but probably anybody I draft at this point is going to be no better than those guys, right? That's my thinking. That's my thinking. Now, I've already drafted a linebacker. I don't really need another one. Um... Elkins. So this is saying he has the skills to block in the pros and play with intelligence. They like John Witt. Where's he at? I don't know where he's at. That's weird. Oh, you know what? Was this one of the guys? Oh, these are the guys that we scouted. Okay. Okay. Um, let's clear. And only look at tackles. There's John Witt. He's listed as a late round player. Very coachable. No, I don't think I want to draft him here. All right, so check all. You know what? Insane ball velocity. Physique, athleticism, he actually doesn't look bad. I'm gonna draft this kid. We looked at him several times. I'm gonna draft I'm gonna draft my quarterback here. Couldn't help it. Couldn't help it. All right, seventh round. All right, everybody's, oh wait, all. Okay, there's everybody on our draft board. So Charles Roberge, he actually looks pretty good. This is one of the guys that we scouted and interviewed. I'm going to draft him. I'm going to draft him right now. Bam. All right, and I think that's it. I think there's only seven rounds. Yes, okay. Free agency. Click the double arrows. Okay. Open bidding. All right. So we want to look at these young kids. And I want to clear. Too bad I can't. Too bad they don't have anything that, for the guys that were on your draft board that weren't signed, right? All right, let's go to overall. And then let's go down till we find. All right, so we've got Malcolm Brown. Twenty-five-year-old running back. Well, you know what? Might just be better to do that. 
All right, so let's see who's pretty highly rated. Henry Ramsey. Now there was something. He's got an OBR of 74. Now they did say, I did read one thing and it said, don't get hung up too much on OBR. You want to look at intelligence, accuracy, and then arm strength. So, no. All right, Blackwell. Tight end. So, intelligent, speed, hands, can't block. Now, who is that guy? Who was the guy? I don't remember his freaking name. I don't remember his name. I could pause this and go back and look, but you would think there would be a better way right? to can y'all tone it just a touch alright now he's got a pretty good Rebecca I've asked nicely I'm sorry all right, agility, intelligence, speed, hands. Let's try to sign this guy. Quinones out of Arkansas. Off the field issues. Perfect Dallas Cowboy, right? He's asking, oh, no, we're not signing him for that much. He's an undrafted free agent. Holy shit. Oh, Danny Amendola. Okay. Maybe he's played for somebody. Has he played with anybody? Oh, okay, yeah, he played He played uh, with Carolina. Yeah. No, I'm looking for... Experience. That's what I'm looking for. Let's send that down to 0, 16 to 24. There we are. So these should be the guys. There he is. Coons. That's his name. 6-5. Good speed. Average hands. Good endurance. Let's go ahead and try to sign him. He's asking for Jesus. How can he ask for that much money? I I'm No. We're not going to try to sign him for that much money. Jiminy Cricket. Look at the money. They're asking for stupid money. Uh, do I need a kicker? I don't know that I need a kicker. Kick distance, kick accuracy, 82. That's already making more than my current kicker. Ramsey, we actually looked at him. Where did he? Oh, that's the Ohio State kid, right? Yep. Intelligence. Yeah. No. Accuracy's not very good. Mata. I can't believe they're asking for so much money. Uh, we got a fullback here. Run blocking's above average. Let's go ahead and offer him. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna offer him less. I'm gonna offer him 450 for two years. Oh shit! I closed out the screen. And player filter. All right, good. It's the same thing. 
Uh, isn't there another fullback right down the list? Right here, Walker, Alabama. Yeah, his run blocking. He can pass block, though. Usually you can sign these people like dirt cheap. I can't believe he's asking for that much freaking money. I want to keep an eye on him. So let's let's finish the day. Let's finish the current day. All right, let's open bidding. I'm going to clear. I want to just look at wide receivers. He's still asking for a boat ton of money. All right, finish current day. Open bidding. No, still asking for a ton. I'm really just checking to see if this ever goes down. Finish current day, finish current day. Oh, well. You free agent report. Training camps. Okay. Click on your team's training section. That is. There it is. With my bad eyes. All right. Um. Okay, so we're early season, so we want to raise this because this is training camp. So, uh, physical training, athletic training, position drills. All right. Save. Run training camps. All right, and then we want to drop this down. Oh. Well, let's see. All right, so we gained 24 points. These guys lost points, a lot of points. Whoa, Staley. Oh, that's uh, that's the overall league. I was like, damn. How did we do? Dallas, plus nine. And then Alan Branch. He was our free agent signing last year. Ooh, Morrow did lose seven. Maybe we should have uh, done that. All right, we're going to drop this, this, and this. Back down to 22. Preseason. All right, let's go to depth chart. That's what I want. Okay, so offense, we're going to go with our offensive coordinator. Bam. Is Sharp? I think Sharp's our new guy, right? Yes, that's our young kid that we drafted in the sixth round. He's our backup quarterback. Hello, cha-ching. So we're probably going to cut that other guy, but we'll get to that point. Pollard, Jackson. All right, uh, let's see. Now we need to go to oh, save package. All right, defense. We'll ask our defensive coordinator to set that. We'll save that. And then special teams, we will ask the head coach to do that. Save that package. Awesome. And let's go look at our roster. 
So let's look at all positions. So Cooper Rush is fatigued. Too bad for him. All right. Let me... I tell you what. Let's go ahead and put a cut here. We'll come back next episode. We'll look through our roster. That'll be the predominant part. And then we'll finish up preseason. But I kind of want to go through and I want to pull up some of the information I was looking at earlier that I can refer to and then share with you guys. So we'll do that next episode. We'll go through the roster. We'll look at what some of the guys that I know play this game and are pretty good at it say are the most important stats uh, for uh, positions and whatnot. Uh, let's see. The skins are projected to win. We're projected uh, to finish second, but eight votes. Couple of trades here. Aaron Nevy, Desmond Harrison, Alshon Jeffrey. That's a big name in a trade. All right. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll be back uh, next episode again. We're going to go over the rosters and some of the important stats. So we'll talk to you about that next episode. Have a good one, guys. Bye.